Hey, welcome back. Jameson's Repair Shop. This has to go in the Bronco today. So, a couple things need to be done. Uh, well, I have done rather. I've chased all the thread holes in the back of the block to receive the, the bell housing bolts. I'm going to have to clean up underneath the Bronco a little bit. There's some floor dry stuff. And I have to put this, uh, this engine lift out on maximum risk level, way out here. And I'm really hoping that will give me enough uh, lift to get over the front of that truck. If not, I'll let the air of the tires. And if that doesn't work, I'll put it down on the floor. But I think uh, at most I'll have to let the air of the tires. So let's get her done. she is I have to hook up the bell housing and uh, get the get it aligned with the bell housing you won't be able to see anything so I'll uh, bring you back when there's something to see Well, now it's time to see if this thing will actually fire up. So I'm going to put a little gas in it. Hopefully the ignition is hooked up the right way. It's a little different harness than the, than the, the 79 harness. But we know that harness works. I used it. So I did use the harness that came with the engine, not the, with, the, with the Bronco. So let's see what we can do here. Put a little fuel in it. And I've got my little uh, starter. No, no spark. Sue, so, but I smell something. Maybe. Give her a little more fuel, maybe. See how that goes. All right, let's try her. Nope. All right, what did I do the last? Oh, I ran a power wire over to the coil. Let's see if that'll work. There's something different about this, uh, this setup. Let me try this first. Switch these two around. One's ignition wire and one is for the... Oh, that's no good. That's got power on it. So that was set right. I'll leave that one off for now. I'm gonna hook this one back up. All right, try her again. Nope. I'm gonna run a little bit of power over to the coil like I did the last time. 
to get it going. I can't run this long on this uh, on the straight 12 volt because it'll uh, it'll burn the coil up. But so let's see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look at that! So I know I'm not getting power through to the coil somehow. All right, let's see if we can get a little a little more time out of this old girl. Well, I would say she's worth putting the radiator in her now, getting some glycol into it, or antifreeze rather. All right, different day, uh, new clean coveralls on. Feels good to have clean clothes on. I was getting pretty grubby underneath the vehicle a lot. Unfortunately, today I'm going back under because I want to hook up the exhaust on it today. Um, it's okay, fine and dandy to have it barking out, just to get testing, but uh, I wanted to have it a little quieter. And this truck or this Bronco came with a full exhaust system and really good shape. I think one muffler's a little bit so-so, but the rest of it's really good. Um, put some things on, put the power steering pump on, which doesn't sound great, but I think it's just air-locked. Uh, fan on, rad in, rad housing. Should have cleaned it up better, but what I'm going to do once I get this on the road and the weather gets a little bit uh, warmer at night, I'm going to get the pressure washer out and I'll do a, a wash down. So all that in there, uh, wire harness, there's two different wire harnesses on it right now. The one that came with the engine and there's the original. There seems to be some difference in the wiring, so I have to figure that out. Wiring for the alternators right here, and there's, there's one on the alternator that came with the engine, so I'm going to use it because basically the ring terminal's on it and it's already wired. But that's it. But for, uh, for now, I'm going to go underneath and really... You guys aren't going to be able to get under there and see much. It's just putting exhaust pipes on. Hopefully it goes well. I'll probably have to buy something. Though there is one more thing I'm going to show you. So give me a second and I'll show you what uh, it's around the braking. So you'll notice uh, with the brakes, I've taken off the there's stuff out of the way here. I've taken the master cylinder off. The brake pedal on this uh, vehicle was seized up solid when I got it. And... It turned out the master cylinder, or master cylinder, the brake booster is seized and rusted. Um, the, the brake rod is, it broke actually, the brake rod broke. So I removed the master cylinder and the brake booster and I ordered new ones of each. I'm not going to fool around with brakes. I could probably, f no, I couldn't fix it. It's done, it's done, the, the, the brake booster. It's finished, it's finished. So here's the brake booster. This whole end is rusted off. I believe there was a collar on that, but it's gone. So it was only $123 for a new brake booster. And I get a new check valve, which this one is completely deteriorated. The, you can't see it, but right there, that check valve, the white piece that goes in on the vacuum line. The master cylinder doesn't look terrible on this. It, might, it looks like it might not be that old, but I'm just replacing the whole thing. Well, we got the exhaust hooked up. It's working pretty good quieting it down a lot. Uh, I can actually hear the engine. So now the engine itself, since it's been sitting around for a long time, I'm going to do an oil change. So I got myself a nice Wix filter there and some Shell Rutella T4 10W30. I'm going to throw in this girl. Well, I'd like to get the Bronco out of the garage so I can clean up the floor. It's pretty rough. Uh, a lot of oil and spilt stuff, dirt. So 
Uh, what's going on is uh, I t I've taken the brake booster off the master cylinder. So essentially I have no uh, hydraulic brakes at all. But what I do have are mechanical brakes. So the park brake does work on this truck. Uh, the cables were, this one was a tiny bit stuck, but I freed it up. I've rebuilt uh, the brake hardware. I put new hardware in rather, uh, new shoes. And yeah, so that's all ready to go. I cleaned up the old drums. Now the old drums, I'm going to put a coat of paint on them, but they, uh, these drums are in bad shape. So I'm not going to uh, plan on using them long term, but they're good enough to use the park brake. So I could back the truck out and uh, clean up the floor. And then I don't mind working underneath of it so much. So anyway, I got both sides done. Same thing, drum on this side's not any good. But new hardware, new shoes. So I'll put the drum on and uh, test everything, make sure that it works. Another issue I'm having is the power steering pump is uh, packed it in, the one that was on that engine. Now, I'm not blaming, it was squealy right from the start. I thought it was just air, but it seemed like it just got worse and worse. So there's no power steering either and no, no brake braking, no hydraulic braking. However, the power steering is not a big deal, it's just that it runs the fan, so I can't run the engine too long. That's okay, I only need to back up 20, 30 feet, and that's it. So I've ordered a new power steering pump, and I have also have a new master cylinder and a brake booster on the way. So they'll all be here the next week. Well, holy smokes, the parts all rolled in at once. What do we got here? Oh, got a steering stabilizer cylinder from uh, who makes this one? Rough Country. I think it's Rough Country. Yeah, Rough Country. So a Rough Country stabilizer cylinder with all the fixings. Ha ha! Put that aside. What else came? Ha ha! This is the important one. A brake booster! Good, 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 good. We'll need that. Need that right now, actually. And what else is here? Lots of packing material. And in this one is a cap for a power steering pump. So probably guess what's in here is a power steering pump. Perfect. So the old Bronco's getting some new parts. Also, I put a new uh, module in, a Duraspark module. And here's Here's why, it was still working, but it's, uh, it's leaked out the bottom and all the, the uh, epoxy resin is softened right up. So I changed that out, so we're good there. I did the brakes, I did on the back brake lines. And over here is the master cylinder. I gave it a clear coat just to keep it the natural look. I need to bench bleed it and then I have to adjust the, on the brake booster, the rod. And it should be all ready to go in. And down in here, I've painted up the hinges. I de-rusted them. I actually, uh, George, I did them with vinegar. Like you said, it came out nice. It's been a while sitting in there, but they came out nice. Then I cleaned them all off and uh, painted them. Uh, Semi-gloss. There's the springs are done. And uh, that's the power steering brackets. And here's the brake parts here for the brake boosters. So I'll have to grab those, and that's a power steering bracket there. So lots going on. Doing some wiring. And underneath here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. Uh, probably not, but uh, new brake lines. It's pretty dark under there. Boys, I feel like one of those rich channels now with unlimited money throwing on brand new parts. Well, anyway, there's the brake booster on, looking spiffy. There we are. I'll put in new master cylinder, brake booster. I'll paint it up. The uh, whole, lines are done and bled. On to the power steering pump. All right, brand new power steering pump. Um, a new power steering line, the one that ma uh, matches this truck better than the one that was on it. And uh, now I'm just bleeding it. So I have unhooked the uh, pitman arm from the, uh, the rest of the steering. And now I'm just turning the wheel back and forth, getting some air out of it, watching the fluid level. And that's it. Getting close to launch day for this uh, Bronchosaurus. All right, first drive in 21 years on this old wagon. She's not running smooth, and I don't want to put the engine hood on yet, so here we go.
Well, I have to apologize for that quick short clip of the video going out after 21 years. Um, I really wanted it to be more, a little bit more uh, lengthy, a little bit more talking and stuff like that. However, uh, we had some bad weather coming in and I needed to get my brother-in-law's journey in. It's overheating, got a misfire and, uh, and one of the injectors is gone. And as you saw in the video, um, the driveway is covered in oil. That's from my wife's power steering pump. So we, we've got uh, two vehicles basically down and I needed to shop space. And uh, that's, so that's why the, uh, the drive out video was pretty quick. Uh, didn't show putting on the uh, topper or the engine hood, which is on now. And I'm gonna show you what came last night. So let's turn around and we'll have a look at uh, what's going on outside there. Well, there's the Bronco. And there's the yellow truck and my wife's car. So that needs the power steering pump put on it when, when we get it. But we have snow again. Anyway, it wasn't much of a drive display video, but the snow was coming. We knew it was coming. We wanted to get the Bronco out so I could get my uh, brother-in-law's journey in. It's in, so everything like that went to plan. Uh, more snow than we thought we were going to get. But anyway, my wife and I put the cap on, put the engine hood back on. So I'm still waiting for the, the quarter panels, and they may be a couple or three weeks yet. So uh, I'll continue to work on some of the mechanical stuff with the old Bronco. But for now, I have a ton of other things to do. Well, there you go. The Bronco is outside. Uh, after 21 years of sitting, uh, I assume with no engine in it, uh, last time it was registered was 21 years ago. Um, she's out, she's up and running again. Uh, the video was kind of choppy, this video, because I had a lot of vehicles backing up, my brother-in-law's and my wife's Cadillac. And in the meantime, my niece's uh, Pontiac Torrent went down as well. So. There was a lot going on here and I am down to just one bay now. So that's why this video has been a bit choppy. I still have this to work on and, I, and this is my favorite right here. But uh, the Bronco struck my fancy. And I guess a good little break from doing all this other rush repair is to jump into something different like putting an engine in a Bronco. But it's in. Uh, really this Bronco project is just starting. There's quarter panels on order. Um, I'm looking for a front bench seat for it, which brings me into uh, the Marty report came in. So I did a video on the Marty report. I was wanting to release it after I did this video that I'm doing right now. Anyway, so that look forward to seeing the Marty report. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and you can stay up with the Bronco Thunderbird and whatever, <laughs> whatever else goes through this place. It could be anything. Going to have the cabriolet in at some point going to have the uh, 65 hardtop in at some point as well uh, it needs to be sold so we're going to be doing the rest of the interior and the, the floor in it which isn't much it's really some sound deadening there's two little holes that need to be patched in the in the back but anyway that's a different story uh, so there's lots coming up and uh, the main thing is we have the bronco running uh, for today anyway uh, so anyway, uh, everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.